We had so much fun during our first week camper vanning around the South Island of New Zealand. We decided to do it for a second week. This week we're driving from Christchurch to Auckland, so we'll be exploring the North Island most of the week. Our friends Jordan and Julianne left yesterday, so we're downgrading to a much cheaper two-person camper van, and I'm going to pick that up right now. And this is our van for the week. Something about punk rock on this side, some rock dudes on this side, and a decently humorous quote on the back. Just as a side note, I don't exactly love Wicked's branding. It's a little too crude for me. However, it was the cheapest way to get from Christchurch to Auckland with one-way rental. So that's why we decided to go with Wicked Camper Vans. Definitely a huge downgrade from the Brits Camper Van that we had last week. Just put some gas in the car and now I'm heading back to the hotel to pick Kara. You about ready? Yeah. We got it. It's super wicked. Really? No, it's not that bad. What's <laughs> painted on it? You'll see. Oh man. <laughs> That's it. Gonna have a rockin' week, mate. Here's the problem, though. We have to sleep, and we also have to get all of these bags in there. Taking it any closer. We are leaving for the first leg of our trip, two and a half hours from Christchurch to Kaikoura. Kara, why are we going to Kaikoura? Because we're gonna see baby seals! We are officially on the road, which means time for the vintage blues. Here we go. Okay. Looks like we're stuck with the radio for the week. Or just my singing voice. Oh yay. Boss I'll, alarm, it like this too. I put this too in and it hasn't spit it out yet. Oh yeah. Just because we're from Tennessee doesn't mean we actually like this music. I love this music. We're about halfway to the waterfall with the baby seals and we just stopped for a quick lunch. And Kara's making us peanut butter, banana, and honey sandwiches. Looking good. Yummy. We're not to the waterfall yet. We just pulled over on the side of the road because we see some out on the rocks. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. They're huge. They are so big. Unfortunately, we could only look for about two seconds because we're running out of daylight and we need to get to the waterfall. Hey, the camera, let's go. Quickly. Nate, there's no time for cereal right now. There are seals. I need fuel to get to the Quickly! Waterfall. We missed the seals because of Cheerios. We will miss two seconds. I, I will miss two seals. Maybe. Come on! Hold on, I got one. Ugh. Cheerios at a time like this? 
I got a picture of the sign. There's the sign. A video? I got a video of the sign. What about that one right there? Quit! Okay. This is what we know about the seals. They were born in November and December on the rocky seashore on either side of the stream and start coming here in April. They stay in the stream for several days at a time but must return to the coast to feed in their mother's rich milk. The, to feed these active pups, their mother And here we go. Longer periods of time at sea. Between April and October, they explore their surroundings, developing their swimming and social skills to make their own way up the waterfall line and they aren't lost. In the middle of winter, a return to pups, not really so, so highly social, they're energetic. And, okay, let's go. <laughs> well. Care what you think it's still so far. I love them. I guess this one didn't want to be wet anymore. Seal. This one has a really itchy nose. Yeah. What's up, guy? There is no zoom on my camera right now. I could literally pet him on the head. What are you doing, buddy? I think this is about to jump on your head, Nate. Whoa, that would be scary. Attack of the seals. Let's go to the waterfall. That is ridiculous. Scratch it, buddy. Look at that yawn! This is like the exhibit that every zoo wishes that they had, except it's happening in nature, which makes it a hundred times cooler. Real. I read on the sign that this is the only place in the world where something like this happens. This is worth coming to New Zealand for. There's a little game of King of the Rock going on right here. New King, New King. The rock is being contested. The one from the back sneaks in. Stretch, you can do it. Nice. We're leaving. So, last time we came to the grocery store here, our cartwheels completely locked up and we couldn't even push the cart back to where it was supposed to go. Somebody sent us a video of this like secret locking mechanism that's in the wheels of the cart. If you take it too far, it's like the edge of the parking lot. I'm just gonna push it and see if they lock up. 
I'm gonna guess it's just lime. No? Back wheel's not moving yet. <gasps> this, it's real! This secret line stops you from stealing the car by locking up this secret back wheel. What? Probably is now I have to carry it back. We will link the video below of how we learned this. Nate's least favorite my thing in the whole world. Sticky. <laughs> sticky hands. Oh my gosh, look, it's just running down the side. <laughs> It's like, it's like a honey ad. <laughs> what a mess. He poured honey all over his hand. Well, it was, oh my gosh. The stickiest food on earth. What a mess. <laughs> you gonna wash them off in the I river? I literally got more honey on my hand than I got on your pizza. <laughs> I have decided to name our camper van Lars. Because, because he looks like the Guitar Hero character that I used to use, and his name was Lars. Guitar Hero, for those of you that don't know, is a video game. And how Karen and I first started hanging out. The reason I'm married to Nate is because of Lars. Now this is camping. We have our headlight and a cup. Homemade lantern. To make a lantern water boiled so our instant noodles will be cooked tonight. We don't have to eat them raw. <laughs> Yum.